Well, it's Wednesday, technically. So, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Seven days, man. That's me. Dudes, I was recording from about... First, let's check this out. Okay, so, you know, I brought my Dean. Because I was going to record with that. Damn thing wouldn't stay in tune. I tuned it down. The Floyd Rose freaked out. Screw it. So my friend's got a a uh, basically it's a Gibson standard with two uh, Seymour Duncan, I think JVs in it. Thing is sweet. So we ran it through my Line Six pod because I know I can get a good sound out of it. Straight into his studio this you know pro tools uh, garage band all that crap and uh, we re recorded at a slower pace uh, eternal darkness I don't think that's gonna be eternal darkness though but anyways so my friend George I sold him both my bases uh, my black Thunderbird 76 Gibson Thunderbird and my white 76 Gibson, Thun Gibson Thunderbird. The black one I bought back. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful 1970. I got. See, when I had it, he likes the original knobs on, so that's what he had. But I like, I put, you know, dice like Nikki had, 666. Because you drill a, the one on the die and the six is on the other, so it looks it's cool. So I do that, listen. Thing is bad ass. Look at that, still got this. I mean, some of this stuff has been in here since the 80s when I was playing, but this is, this is the one. This is the one you see when I'm playing that's white. And so it used to be white, or it was off white, and I had it painted black. Me and Johnny, you know, from Fatal Distraction. But I had this totally assembled. I bought it at Guitars R Us. I think uh, Torgerson. I think you sold this to me, right? Right, Jim, the Torg Meister. I got it for a couple hundred bucks because it was in. It was pieces it was just pieces and this neck was broken so I took it to this chick who was like the best neck repair or headstock because people are always snapping the headstocks off these suckers so I had it put on a couple hundred bucks and then you can see the He hasn't really played it. He didn't play out. But he took off my... Or I took off my strap locks. I guess he just used it for... Uh, the thing looks like he hasn't touched it. He put new strings on it. But it looks exactly like it when I gave it to him. Including the chip. That happened in... I know where that happened. At the whiskey. On Halloween because I was about ready to pass out because it was so freaking hot and I had our all leather you can see me up someone took a picture of me up on the the uh, stairs coming down it looks like I'm gonna pass out then had leather pants leather jacket leather everything by the third song I looked at Johnny he's looking at me like we're gonna die so we took our jackets off and made it through but this is coming off. This is the original. I'm going to pop that sucker off and put a mirrored one on because that's what Gene Simmons did on his 76 <clears throat> Thunderbird that he played at Magic Mountain when I saw them there. But hey, look at this. Everything is exactly... So I got my baby back. These things go for a good, good amount and... 
actually, I'd have to report that the neck was broken, but you can't tell it was ever broken. She did such a good job, plus when the guy painted it black, he really fixed it up. Actually, if you look in the picture, right here is a giant chunk out of it. Because apparently the guy that had it before me, when he broke the neck, he threw the base against the his amp and took a chunk out right here. So that was filled in. But it's a beautiful base. Oh. I recorded all most of the Fatal Attraction demos with this. It's all but four songs. Listen to that. You can't get that piano tone from anything else. Oh, I'm so happy I got my baby back. Baby back, baby back, baby back. Look at it. I still even got friggin' can he see a Power 106 sticker when that was not cool. A uh, bone, whatever that service was it. Lip service sticker, that's gone. The bone, I'm not sure what the hell that was. But uh, yeah, that was on there. This is all, so I got it back. I'm gonna leave this open. I gotta look at this tonight. So I got it back. So that makes a lot of bases. Lots. Two Iceman, four Thunderbirds, uh, uh, Warlock, Mockingbird. Uh, what else do I got? Oh, two two Warlocks. The Nikki bloody one, which I can't find, but I got it somewhere. And then the uh, off-white Warlock that maybe. It wasn't owned by uh, Bob Daisley because I talked to him about that. I think it, I told you guys, but he played it on the uh, on Bark at the Moon on the uh, uh, what is it Universe with some song with the Universe Journey to the Center of the Universe. He played that because it was tuned down a, a semitone as he says, or half-step. So, he used that, and that was actually Ozzy's bass. That, you know, just, he bought, in case someone needed a flipping bass. But, there's my baby. So this is it. Tomorrow I gotta go home, because my parents are tripping balls, and something happened, and I need to get the hell back down there by tomorrow night. So I gotta drive from Nephi Utah, which is 45 minutes south of Provo, all the way home tomorrow to Burbank, to Butthole Bank, with all my lovely, smelly cigar, cigarette-smoking Armenian neighbors. Oh, God. No more of this beautiful stuff. I don't know where this is, but it's better than Butt Bank. Oh, it's Hawaii. Yeah, I know some in Hawaii. Someone in Hawaii. I've been talking to her on the internet. Maybe I'll have to go out and visit her. She can show me what this is in person. But there you go, man. Uh, last night, because if I... I gotta just keep driving, and if I get tired, I just pull over in the desert and sleep and then keep going, because I gotta be home for Thursday on the people get there to work on the house oh crap son of a bisque eh, whatever I'm not going to let it ruin I've had a good time right I don't want the, my gay glasses get glasses like, these are someone they're, look at these they're old women glasses but they're perfect I mean the sight is perfect for me but I look like a I don't know trans testicle all right well so this is day seven really uh that's it so i'm in nephi utah it's almost two in the morning i gotta get some friggin sleep so i will talk to you tomorrow wednesday uh november 7th huh see see it already says that here that's 
pretty sure California time. Yeah, it is. Because my phone says... 146, right? Utah time. Good night, and God bless.